I'm Nicole Aaron with University TV, and today we're at Western New England University. Be on the lookout, we're in Golden Bear territory. Let's go find them. Western New England University is located in Springfield, Massachusetts. It's in the heart of the Knowledge Corridor, a region from Hartford to Amherst that annually attracts 120,000 college students. This central location offers easy day trips to New York City and Boston, or visits to popular ski resorts and New England beaches. There's so much to do in this area, it is important to kind of relax after so many classes throughout the week. So yeah, hiking um, in the area, go shopping, go to the movies, things like that. I think that students need to understand that when we say Western New England University, it is New England. We have seasons here. We have four seasons. We have a variety of opportunities for um, living and for entertainment. It is a nice place to live. There is a quality of life that attracts many of our staff and faculty to come here rather than being in other parts of the country. That can be a little harder to live, a little more expensive to live. Western New England's picturesque campus sits on 215 acres, with classrooms, residence halls, and sports facilities all within easy walking distance. 13 campus buildings and athletic venues have been built or renovated in the last 10 years. This includes the $40 million Center for the Sciences and Pharmacy and the high-tech engineering building, Sleeth Hall. Western New England serves about 2,500 undergraduate students from 39 states and 26 countries. The average class size is just 20 and the student to faculty ratio is 14 to 1. Beginning with an acclaimed first year program, faculty and upper class student mentors take a real interest in each student's success. We have a number of um, full-time employees who we call academic success specialists and they're also there, particularly during the student's first year, um, to meet with them on a very regular basis to check in with them on their course work, um, on areas that they might need extra tutoring in. Um, if they do need that tutoring, they'll immediately match them with a specialist who has expertise in that academic area. So really the, the amount of thought that we put into the first year student experience, I think is second to none. It makes us very distinctive. The average freshman has a high school GPA of 3.2, that's even higher for engineering and pre-pharmacy students. The minimum SAT or ACT test scores vary by college or academic program. Tuition and fees are about $37,000 and 90% of students receive financial aid. The typical freshman will pay about $12,000 for room and board. Merit scholarships are also available to transfer students. Western New England offers nearly 50 undergraduate majors throughout the colleges of art and sciences, business and engineering. So this building is brand new. It was a $40 million investment that the school made and it was a wonderful one. Um, in the pharmacy program we use a lab called the Simulation Lab which um, one of our professors runs. There is a fully operating mannequin down there that can respond to any and all types of medical emergencies so it's a great opportunity for students to get hands-on learning. Popular majors include criminal justice, sport management, accounting, mechanical engineering, neuroscience, along with our pre-pharmacy program. Undecided? Don't worry, we'll help you explore your options. Accreditation is a benchmark of quality for grad students and employers. This is one of only a few institutions in the country with a total enrollment of less than 4,000 that has the highest accreditation in engineering, business, law, social work, and behavioral analysis. There are many things that made me come to Western New England University. I, for, first and foremost, was very interested in their AACSB accreditation, which is uh, a very top uh, and prestigious accreditation, and only 5% of schools uh, have that accreditation. Western New England faculty are truly committed to helping you reach your potential and goals. They take a real interest in mentoring students to develop the skills and practical experiences to succeed in college and in your career. They bring both expertise and experience to the classroom, and more than 90% have earned their PhD or other terminal degree. You know, it's funny, every school around the country talks about their amazing faculty and how much their faculty go out of their way to get to know their students. And so the one thing that I really encourage students and their families to, to do is really to come here and meet our faculty because I really think that once they meet our faculty, they will find that our faculty are special. They're remarkable. went to some
some of the games on campus. Um, I went to some of the football games, some of the soccer games. Those were great turnout events um, and a lot of people enjoy going to those. Oh yes, I definitely go to sporting events on campus. I actually work uh, for the athletics department and I work, uh, I do film for the men's and women's soccer games. So I'm always at every home uh, soccer game for the men's and women's team. Also the football games and the basketball games we always go to and the men's and women's across and baseball too. Traditional halls are offered to freshmen and suite style units are open for sophomores. Most juniors prefer to stay in on-campus apartment complexes and many seniors reside in the Evergreen Village townhouses or Southwood Hall apartments. First year students use a unique online matching program to find the perfect roommate. Right, Rumi? Yeah. See? Grab your Starbucks or get a sandwich from Subway. The food options here are great and laundry is always free in the residence hall. Yeah! There are more than 60 clubs and organizations like the Paintball Club, the Golden Bear Band, the Entrepreneurship Club, or you can start your own. You can also go old school by visiting the Rock on campus to find out what's going on. This was brought here in secret by the class of 69 and has become a popular landmark on the Western New England campus. This campus rocks. Western New England places a strong emphasis on experimental learning through internships and field study at more than 1,000 internship sites, which include places such as PricewaterhouseCooper, ESPN, and Google. So I've had an opportunity to do a research, for, research experience for undergraduates at Wake Forest Institute for Regenerative Medicine, where I worked on um, automating an electric field well plate generators for cell stimulation studies. My professor, Paul Costanzo, which is actually the department chair of marketing, helped me to gain an internship that I had last summer at Polaris Direct and uh, this right now I'm actually uh, at an internship with the uh, Young Professional Society of Greater Springfield and I would not have been able to do that without the help of my professors. The university helps students expand their world view through extensive semester and short-term study abroad opportunities. You won't want to miss out on Western New England's sophomore experience where you can study with your faculty at Richmond University in London, England. So if you want an amazing classroom experience, state-of-the-art academic facilities with full attention from engaged faculty and opportunities to build the resume of your dreams, check out Western New England University. Well, that's it for us on our tour of Western New England University. But did you know it's a tradition to take a selfie in front of the Golden Bear statue? Ready? Cheese! We'll see you next time from University TV. Bye!